going on Champinos? Welcome back to the channel. Today, before we kick things off, I just wanted to say a quick thank you very much to every single one of you that have subscribed because we've hit 3,000 subscribers on this channel. And I am absolutely blown away. When I started this YouTube channel, no way in my wildest dreams did I think I'd get even over 50. So I appreciate every single one of you that's ever liked, subscribed, commented, any of that stuff. Even the thumbs downs, it's helped. Funnily enough, I appreciate every single one of you. So I plan to continue to do this and keep making fun videos. I just want to go out there and show you the things I'm doing and I just have fun doing it. So thank you so much. 3,000 uh, onwards and upwards. Let's keep charging. We're going to kick today's video off on the thrift. A cold day, but a fun day. Oh, it's a cold old morning in Ballarat and we're starting here at the church. One of my favourite places. Look at this. Oh, she's frosty. And starting off with a little Monster High pickup. That'll just go into a bundle, couple of bucks. Happy to grab that. And a few little toys will lurk. And we had here this guy. And that's a Yu-Gi-Oh character from 2003. They go for about 20, 25 bucks. So for a $2 purchase, I'll grab him because that's plus posted on top of that as well. And also this guy here from Mad Max. He's one of the crazy cyborgs. So he'll go for about 25 as well out of $2. And a little transformer there for a dollar will probably get me 15 plus ship. This is a cool little piece here, the Raggedy Ann VHS for two bucks. Not for me. I'll leave that one there as I did with this PC game. It's the Theme Park World which is only probably a $15 free ship game. So not for me. This was really cool. Had to grab this as a personal. I love Friday the 13th. So I snapped that one up. And we're going to fang over here to the Salvo's Thrift because I found this cool little vintage piece. It's the Mount Hotham at the thrift shop here in Creswick Road. And I think that's absolutely beautiful. Almost as beautiful as Barbie. 10 bucks, 19.95. Barbie picnic van. Holy moly. What a little grab. So I brought this out to the car. Quick inspection. Most of the pieces are there. It's just missing Barbie. So it does need a clean up, but that should go all right. 10 bucks. Uh, very happy with that. So thank you very much to the thrift store here on Creswick Road. All right. I'm actually really happy with that pickup. The 95 Barbie car, the cooker. Yeah, no, it's not great condition, but just the fact that there's a box and it's there is something. So even it's not something I grew up with, I just love that nostalgia. It just reminds me of the 90s growing up and uh, seeing those ads, the Barbie ads. And um, yeah, really cool. I always love finding that stuff. So that's got me amped. That's got me up and about. So I'm gonna go to a couple more now. Eighth time this year I've picked up a modern 2012 Furby. These little bastards swear too. Also, this Nerf gun would have gone all right for a couple of bucks, but it was missing the cartridge, so I didn't bother to grab it. Could have grabbed these Gollywogs too. They sell really well on Facebook. Good, thanks. How are you? Oh, beautiful. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, they're Really know you're from Ballarat when this kicks in. Yeah. Little sealed Baku Gang, Baku Gang. Oh, I don't know how to say it, but. For a couple of bucks, I'm grabbing it. Uh, these have potential to go for about 30, but Shoe Fiends. Dolce and Gabbana for five bucks. Are these fake? I'm actually not sure, but then we found this little pen cam. Spy pen. This is just a little warning before you watch this next part that there's some abusive language. So this may actually trigger people that have been in abusive relationships or have suffered with abuse. So um, if you think that may trigger you, please skip forward maybe 40 seconds. It's nothing super bad, but it could be a trigger. It's just a warning. Thank you. Just a couple in here. Now, I 
don't get it. You want to spy on your neighbours, they're yelling or fighting or whatever, and you use a pen to spy over the fence. What's the point in getting it in a pen? I really don't get it, but this is a shifty little pen. Maybe we could take this into the op shops. Maybe I'll hang on to that. Five bucks, it looks like they sell for about, I don't know, 50 pre-owned. 120 new, so uh, clearly it's been used. It's just full of uh, spy videos of the neighbours, and we'll definitely wipe that before we list it. Alrighty, enough spying. Back onto the thrift. These quilted sleeves, go go vintage denim jacket. I think I'll get 50 bucks out of that nine dollar purchase. So I just had to get it. That was beautiful. Plus the modern day 501s, only for a few bickies there. Very happy. And they marked these ones up a little bit. The 15 dollars on the Nikes there. What do you reckon? What have you grabbed them shoe sellers? Asking yous. See what yous reckon. But then I strolled in and found. A vinyl for not too badly priced. The mental is anything. Just look at the record in that cupboard. Yeah, that one's open. It's open. Cool, thank you. So it looks like this one for 15 bucks can go into about 40, 50 plus ships. So I definitely grabbed it. The Stussy, a brand I love to get. The rugby polo should sell quite well. I don't buy all AFL. Show them this one because it's probably only 25 bucks. It's still. A decent jumper, but uh, I'm leaving that one there for $8. Same with this for 15 bucks. That can stay on the shelf. Uh, it's a good price, but not for me to resell. Piss and rain, rainy day, cold as shit. There's nobody out thrifting, and then these numbskulls park so I can barely open my door. Only other car in the park. It's massive. Bird shit. Fuck's sake. More shoes, more Nikes. The Uniting Church here... I grabbed those for five bucks and also another pair of Levi's for six. Uh, only a couple of pairs of jeans so far today, which is a bit disappointing because that's the bread and butter. But these footy boots can go okay. Um, the CTR 30 or whatever the hell they're called, I can't remember now. But uh, I snapped those up because I think they will move good. Onto the Salvos, and this vintage feeler jersey is just super interesting. I have no idea what I'm getting for that, but I could not leave him behind, as I couldn't with the Disney paper tag uh, shirt there, plus another one of these Williamstown Footy Club jumpers. And then this horse, who had one of these? They were, I had this thing on their back here, they moved, they take batteries, they're from 1988. Um, I got a feeling I do recall these, but I don't know what it was called. Drop it in the comments if you know. So another day of thrifting out the way. Uh, pretty good day again. I'm really happy with some of those pickups. The nostalgia factor on uh, some of the older items is really, really cool. As you know, I love that sort of thing. Uh, I'm going to go really nostalgic here. Well, not nostalgic for us, but going way back in time. Um, I'm going to go home and quickly show you a couple of things I picked up. Uh, last week or through the week, there was an auction that popped up in town. And a big shout out to my buddy Jim. James, he uh, told me about it. I wasn't aware and jumped on board. And I put a lot of my sort of highest price on there without following the auction and I came back later halfway through and I'd seen I'd actually won an item I was bidding on a lot of swords and uh, World War II stuff um, something a bit different that you know I didn't put really high prices on one one and then uh, I thought well I'm gonna buy some other stuff because there's no point in me just going to pick up this one little uh, knife that I got so you know I got a few of the cheaper lower end stuff some bits and pieces but I really do want to just go home and show you this uh this knife because it's quite interesting and if I find it interesting I'm gonna throw it in the video so I paid 30 bucks for it we are back home now and it has been a few days since I did that trip uh sadly I've fallen victim to the big C that's right COVID's actually finally caught up with me all this time couple of years of dodging and weaving it's got me, but don't stress, all good. I've got plenty of virus beaters in the fridge and I plan to not let that bother me. So back on topic, there was this local auction. Uh, I was just sort of getting a feel for it because I couldn't physically be there on the day and they had some random stuff. I put some high bids and then followed the end of it. Anyway, I did win this knife and a couple of other little bits and pieces and the knife I really wanted to showcase, it is the highlight of sort of this video. And the reason, the thrifting day, Let's go to reality. I went to, what, nearly 20 op shops and everything you see me pick up is everything I got. As a full-time reseller, 
that's actually not a good day. There was no huge dollar items. There was some fun stuff, don't get me wrong, the Barbie car and that. Uh, super nostalgic, but bread and butter, there wasn't much of it. You know, I've got some shoes and stuff. I'm not known as a shoe seller. I don't buy a lot of shoes and it's just the reality of it. So when people say YouTubers always get the good shit, uh, that's not true. That was a big day. That was, you know, five plus hours out of my time where I could be listing stock that I get delivered to my house, but I spent that outsourcing and I didn't get a whole lot. So that's reality. Anyway, back onto the auction. The item that I've got and I wanted to show you is this little knife here. And uh, I think it's super interesting and I wanted to just chat about it quickly. I don't know a lot about, um, you know, old knives and World War II stuff, but I did a little bit of digging on this and it is a what you would call a jack clasp knife. And these were issued to the Australian Navy back in World War II, right up until the early 80s. So this is a Rogers and Sheffield knife. And basically what you've got here is uh, the blade here. Obviously you can tell what they do with that. You stick that in uh, people's necks. But the other side, you've also got this little hook. And um, it's actually really quite sharp. So what this was allegedly used for is untying ropes and neck and ropes and whatnot. But uh, honestly, I think that'd be really good at neck and throats because um, look at it, it's nice and sharp. But anyway, this is uh, just a cool little interesting piece. I, I paid 30 for it. And my little bit of research that I've done so far tells me that you know, I could probably get 100 plus for it. There was a website on Google that I found, it was an antique page, and uh, he had sold one of these for $150. So it was similar condition. Some people restore these and clean them up. That's a possibility as well. We could have a little bit of a crack at that. But uh, look, that's maybe the price I'll shoot for. If you do specialize in this sort of stuff, let me know below what you think. Is it worth the 30 bucks that I paid? Is it not worth the 30 bucks that I paid? But I think this one's uh, potentially gonna go a little bit higher. The only issue is it probably can't go on eBay. A few people have got these listed for around the 200 mark on eBay, but I'd be very careful with it. Not the fact that it's a knife. Um, I've sold knives before. It's the fact that it was issued to Australian army as such, or well, Australian Navy might be a factor. I don't think you can sell that kind of thing on eBay. So um, anyway, I found it really interesting. thought I'd show you guys. Probably will survive. I definitely will sell it, but uh, I'm not really sure where I'll put that up yet. Maybe in a collector's group, but um, really cool piece. I bought a few other little basic things from that auction. The other one was a bit of a bust, and I found it quite interesting. I thought it was really cool. It says Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde, Perspex piece out of a pokey machine. Um, issued 1995 by Pacific Gaming. I actually thought this sort of stuff was quite collectible, which it is. It's, uh, you know, the bar memorabilia and whatnot, but they don't go for that good of money. And I went in blind on that. It only cost me a fiver, so it's not a huge issue, but uh, I will chuck it up a little bit higher and see if we can be cheeky and get something. But um, I just thought it was a cool little piece being Jack on Hyde. Look, worst case scenario, that doesn't sell. I think it's interesting. We'll put it up in our own little bar, won't we? But a uh, couple of little pieces that I got there, and apparently this is going to be happening sort of rural Victoria. It's going to be doing the rounds, these little auctions. So um, when they pop up again, I'm going to visit them. There's a few other bits and pieces that I did snag, but uh, that were my two favorite from it. So I thought I'd show them today. And uh, especially this, it's probably one of the oldest pieces that I've, I've sort of found recently. So uh, I just thought that was uh, really interesting. So once again, people, I appreciate it. The three grand, we've hit 3K subs. Oh, just blows me away and uh, I appreciate every single one of you. So slow day today. I won't be thrifting for the next seven days, that's for sure. Uh, well, it's less than that. I'm about day three of COVID now and uh, I'm only just starting to get a little bit of a symptom. So I've, I've, like, I've been pretty lucky with this one. But anyway, uh, there'll be still videos coming. Plan to do a few videos through the week and uh, while I'm at home, I can sort a bit more of the business. But uh, I appreciate you. Thank you very much. And I'll see you in the next one.